Hey everybody, so I have another three for Thursday for you. It's an open tag store by Patty Potato Peelers and he wanted to retire it, but I, I think it's a good tag. <laughs> and I wanted to show off three knives. So I figured I'd just do another three for Thursday. And uh, today we're gonna look at three Sheffield knives. We got a Taylor Eyewitness and two Arthur Wright and Sons. So let's check out the Taylor Eyewitness for, and I've showed all these before, but today I, I pulled all these out and I put a, a nice coat of linseed oil on them. Let it soak in there, and then I put a coat of wax on the on the wood and on the blade. And this this is my I feel like this is my ideal work knife. If that makes sense. Just a really fantastic knife. You can pinch or open it, but it's also still really solid. You can close it one-handed. You don't have to worry about it. It just feels like a nice, secure knife. You have it in your hand. It's not going to close on you. But it does you have the half stop and it feels as a solid lock up on that one. Just a fantastic knife. They have a really beautiful wood. No gapping in it. No lights coming through on any of these. Um, really solid knife though. This one I got recently from MBEDC. And it's an e trick or etric. And this is an awesome knife. Uh, it has a killer pole on it. I had to work at it a little bit, so it's, just, it's probably like an eight or nine. But when you're using it, when you're actually holding it like this, this would be a, a heck of a skinning blade, but um, I, I've used it on leather, and I'm not the only one who's used it on leather. But you can really get in there and just get a nice, steady, sturdy cut. Um, I think I got a little bit of patina on there. <laughs> uh, really beautiful wood. This is an Arthur Wright and Son. Just looks fantastic. And this one, it's uh, Arthur Wright and Son Barlow. This was a gift from Tony's Ponies. So thank you to Tony and thank you to MB for that. That was freaking awesome. But this is the most killer pole on a knife I have. I joke about having a knife that was at a, a, an 11 pole. Like this one was an 11 pole and I got it. It's able to work it out a little bit. This one, I broke my thumbnail. Every time, almost every time. So let's see if I can get. Ooh. It's not easy to open. But that being said, it's not easy to close either. I'm pushing pretty hard on it. Um, that's super easy to close. But it's also very safe. This one, it's not going to close on you. This is a killer knife. No pun intended. And be beautiful rosewood on it. I mean, again, I put a code linseed oil on this one too, and that card of war wax. Put both on the wood and on the blade. Just fantastic clip points, fantastic Barlows. Um, when you compare it to like a USA one, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. This is a fantastic knife. I love this one, but it's easy to open. Probably has a four, four or five pull now, and. Uh, little bit of a wobble nothing bad still a great knife i love this a lot all these are in high carbon steel um but man if you want if you're worried about a knife closing on you get an arthur and son one of the new ones the older ones i know they're kind of the fit and finish wasn't the, the best but the new ones that ashley harrison is putting out now they're fantastic um it's not there's no way it's gonna close on you taylor eyewitness um, still really safe. I don't, I'm not complaining with them. You can, it's not going to, if you hold it right, it will not close on you. You push it. So, aside from that, if you're, if you were being unsafe, like, like me, <laughs> this one will not close on you. It's a bit hard to close. But, um, yeah, this is awesome, awesome knife. So, thank you so much to MB and to Tony. I picked this one up on James and Company, and I think you can get just about all these on James and Company for really a killer price. Same, almost the same price as this Barlow. Um, this cost me thirty-five bucks plus shipping. These, I think this one cost me thirty-nine bucks plus shipping. Same thing with this one. I think this one's about about twenty-nine bucks. I think twenty-nine, thirty-five bucks. Hell of a deal on all of these, but uh, all UK legal too. So. Those of you in the UK, 
if you're thinking about getting a sub joint any of these would be perfect but um that was my my three and four for thursday <laughs> please go check out patty potato peelers check out mbedc uh shout out to tony and uh if you go to james and company and buy a knife just type in that you, you uh you saw it from me <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe i'll get a free knife or something anyways you all have a great night i will see you all tomorrow like and subscribe